Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has started to test a new feature in the Edge Canary browser, which is a preview version of Edge. And this new feature is called Drop and has been on a controlled rollout now in Edge Canary version 104, which is the uh, latest version of Edge Canary. And I finally see that in my overnight update, I have finally received the new Edge Drop uh, on both my Windows 10 and 11 devices in Edge Canary. Now, um, Drop uses um, OneDrive and it lets you save your files or notes in OneDrive and you can also transfer various um, types of files across your different devices as long as you have obviously um, Microsoft Edge installed on those devices and you are signed in using the same Microsoft account. Now there are a couple of ways you can access this new feature. Um, um, the first is if you head to your, se uh, your settings menu and you head over to appearance yeah you'll see there is a new uh, shortcut button you can enable called drop which is off by default so if we enable that uh, it will pop the shortcut button in the toolbar with the other quick shortcut buttons then if you have your sidebar enabled in edge canary it also uh, pops it in as a little widget in the sidebar and then another way you can access it is just by going to the menu in the top right of the browser more tools and you can just launch it from there as well. And it opens in the side panel. So just like your collections and other, other um, features, it relies on the side panel. And just to take a more in-depth look, um, it says to send your files, uh, your first file or note, select the, the add button or type in the message box below. You can also drag and drop your files here to send files faster and your files and notes will be available across all your signed in mobile and pc devices as i mentioned and um, you have an opportunity here to download the mobile app um, uh, if you don't have it already installed on your mobile device now just to demonstrate let's just click uh, select file or photo to send the add button and i'm just going to head over and click on an edge canary uh, image open that and that's going to um, uh, pop that into the new drop site panel. And there are a couple of options here. Uh, you can obviously delete uh, the file or, or a document or image. You can open it up in the folder. So that will just take it to the default location. Uh, you can copy it and you can actually open the actual file or image straight from uh, the site panel uh, uh, using drop in Edge Canary. And then you can also write a note so you can take notes. So I'm just going to go hello, just as an example. So you can write a note to yourself or take notes uh, in the drop site panel. And then if we head to some more options here at the uh, top of the feature and the site panel, you can refresh uh, the panel. And then you got another three dotted menu. And yeah, it says Download Edge Browser on your mobile device. So you can scan this QR code to download the Edge mobile app in case you don't have it installed. And then it gives you your uh, OneDrive storage. So it's a nice OneDrive storage indicator right from uh, the convenience of your site panel. And you can free up storage and you can also upgrade your OneDrive plan. And then uh, if I just click on free up storage, this will take me over to my OneDrive account um, online. And yeah, you'll see it's created a new folder called Microsoft Edge drop files and if you click on that you'll see there's my image of Edge Canary that I uploaded using drop so just to demonstrate if I go back there's the image and it's uploaded it to my Microsoft Edge drop files in my OneDrive pertaining to that account and now I can access that across all my different devices so that's it and um, Microsoft Edge drop now currently being tested by Microsoft in Edge Canary and obviously it's still early days and I will keep you posted as to any future developments. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.